Hey everyone, um, we meet again to solve another Singapore math problem. Let's dive straight into the problem. Uh, just to let you know, I one of my previous videos I have solved the same problem using Singapore math model method. All right, and there were uh, some questions from some of our viewers asking me to solve this using algebra. So I decided to make a video uh, to show how this problem can be solved using algebra method. I'm really sorry for those because of the delay in making this video, but I hope this will be helpful for you. Let's go to the question. Ahmed and Sadia were given some money each. We don't know how much. If Ahmed spent $75 and Sadia spent $25 each day, Ahmed would have $900 left when Sadia had spent all her money. So, if Ahmed spent $25 and Sadia spent $75 each day, Ahmed would have $2,100 left when Sadia had spent all her money. How much money did each of them have at first or they were given at first, right? So now what we know is they have some amount of money, we don't know how much. So first statement says if Ahmed spent $75 each day, Let's take Ahmed first. Let's say he's spending $75 each day. 75, 75, 75 goes on and then he ends up spending 75 for a certain number of days and he is left with $900 at the end of the day. Now, when Sadia is spending $25 each day for the same number of days, she runs out of money. She does not have any amount of money left. All right. So at this stage, both of them are spending $75 and $25 for a certain number of days. We do not know how many days that is. And so let's assume that the number of days for which they've been spending the respective money is X. So for Ahmed, after spending $75 for the X number of days, he still has $900. For Sadia, after she, she spends $25 for X number of days, she does not have anything left. Now we go to the second statement. If Ahmed spent $25 and Sadia sp spent $75 each day. So now Ahmed is spending $25 each day all right and he has two thousand one hundred dollars left now Sadia is spending seventy five dollars each day for the same number of days and she does not have any money left at the end of the day and if you see here I've just actually reduced the number of days slightly compared to this uh, reason is because if she is spending $25 for let's say X number of days or 10 days or 15 days if she started spending 75 days the same money would last for less number of days so that is why I have represented it this way now this number of days Again, we don't know the number of days here. So let's assume that Y is the number of days for which they are spending 25 and 75 respectively. All right. So now what we are going to uh, do is first, let's take Ahmed's money. See, in this case, he's spending $75 for X number of days and left with 900. But if he spends $25 per day, uh, for Y days, he is left with 2100 But in both cases, the money that he had is equal, right? Whatever the total amount of money that we are able to compute here should be equal to the total amount of money that we compute here. So for uh, Sadia's money is also the same. Sadia's money is $25 every day for X number of days. That is 25 times X, 25X. And here it's $75 for Y number of days. But 
the total amount of money again this is the sadhya's money sadhya's money so the total money will not change right so 25 times x the total money sadhya had should be equal to 75 times y so that uh, on simplification we want to simplify this uh, one way of simplifying is we can divide both sides with the same quantity divide both sides by 25 meaning this one would become 1 so 1x which is x and here 75 divided by 25 gives 3 so that is 3y so x is equal to 3y this would be our first equation now let's go take a look at Ahmed's money So Ahmed's money, again if you look at here, $75 times X number of days plus 900 is the total money. That should be equal to $25 times Y number of days plus 2100. So 75X plus 900 that's here is equal to 25 times Y plus 2100. Our first objective, remove 900 from here. We can subtract 900 on both sides. This side gets cancelled out. So it becomes 75x equals 900 on the left hand side is cancelled out. So 25y plus 2100 minus 900. And that is equal to 75x is equal to 25y plus the result of this subtraction is 1200. Now again, look at these numbers. Uh, one look, we will be able to identify that all these numbers are divisible by 25. So we can actually try to uh, simplify this uh, equation again so that we have less smaller numbers to deal with. Divide both sides by 25. 75 divided by 25. is equal to 25 sorry 75 divided by 25 that is 3 so 3x is equal to again 25 divided by 25 is 1 so we get y plus 1200 divided by 25 gives us 48 so we have uh, the second equation here 3x equals y plus 48 so that's our second equation now one more thing that we can look here is here in equation 1, we have established the relationship between x and y. x is equal to 3y. So, what we are going to do is take that value and substitute it here. Instead of this x, we can write 3y because x is equal to 3y. So, this would become 3 times 3y is equal to y plus 48. So, that is 9y equals y plus 48. We can cancel y on both sides, 1y, or subtract y on both sides. y gets cancelled here. Here, 9y minus y will be 8y. So, 8y is equal to 48. So, y equals 48 divided by 8, which is 6. So, that gives us the value of y, which is here, the number of days for which Ahmed has spent $25.00 or the number of days for which Sadia had spent $75. So how much money did each of them have at first? Let's say for Ahmed, Ahmed's money is $25 times 6 or Y which is 6. 25 times 6 plus 2100. So that is equal to $2250. That is what Ahmed had at first. Right? So for Sadia, it's $75 times Y, which is 6. So Sadia's amount or money with Sadia at first would be 75 times 6, which is equal to $450. So this is how we can solve the same problem using algebra. I hope this was uh, helpful. If you would like to take a look at the model method, you can uh, go to the link in the description and uh, you know from there you can go to the video and take a look at it and for this particular problem um, in terms of complexity algebra method is slightly easier
than the model method. So it's your pick. You can decide which one you would like to follow. And thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.